This is activity 1-1, creating a running total field. Now our crystal reports is open here, you can see, and I have opened the RT saddle sales report, and I'm in design view. Now before we do anything, we should of course make sure that we have connectivity to the data source. So I'm just going to refresh this here, and let me say OK, and I get results. So we have got a connection. Now with that said, notice the sheet. I see quantity. I see quantity. I see quantity. And I can move along to different pages. And I see quantity. But what I want to see is a running total. So how do I do that? Well, let's go back to design. When we're back into design, over along the side, you'll notice we have an entry for running total fields. But before you do that, what are you going to total? What field are you going to total on? There may be some data sources that there are several things that you want to total on. But we're just going to come across here and select our running totals. And we'll wait for it to pop up. It tends to be a little slow in our environment. Now, Let's do a new one, and what are we going to call it? The name is important. For us and this one, we're just going to call this one the Saddle RT. And what field are we summarizing? Well, we're going to go and get the order details and the quantity, and we're going to add that. And we do want a summary. Take note. We have different choices. Now, what are we going to evaluate? So what are we going to review for the running total? For every record, are we going to do it for every time and add it up? Or are we going to say when a field changes? We're going to do the first one for every record. And we're going to say OK. Now we have our saddle RT, we're going to drag that in here and position it. We can always align it after the fact, and we preview. And let's visually check this when it comes up. Now, of course, the decimals we can get rid of with our formatting option. But let's go right to the very top. Let's go back to the very top. So we have 2, and 2 is 4, and 3 is so this is working. Now let's get rid of those decimals there. Right? So we want to decrease our decimals. So that's the saddle running total. And that works. Works perfectly fine. Now, what if you want it to change? Well, you can change it. But let's save this report first before we go any further. It's really slow to pop up. We're going to save it as my RT saddle sales. You can see it's spinning here. Perfect. So that was very, very easy, wasn't it? As I said, let's repeat. We come to the side. We select, we're going to do a new one. It must have a name. And what field are we adding up? And then what are we using to evaluate what we add? And that's the end of the first demonstration.